Hello guys, this is the Geekazoid. Uh, this is a follow-up video to my original video, How to Install Showbox on a Windows PC. Uh, this video uh, details um, all the fixes uh, with the problems people are generally having with their Showbox um, installation through Bluestacks. Now, um, this video has been delayed. The reason being is because I wanted to see all the comments uh, from uh, the viewers um, so that they can state what problems they were having and generally um, I managed to find two uh, major types of problems which most of the users are having. The first problem is uh, many users follow my video step by step and they update Showbox. When they update Showbox in Bluestacks, uh, Showbox tries to load up, you get a, a, a black screen and then Showbox automatically closes. And that's the first problem. Um, and the second problem is many people, um, the show box loads up for them in Bluestacks. However, they don't see any of the icons. They don't see any of the pictures to the movies, etc. It's just a blank screen. Uh, those are the two major problems uh, that people are having once I analyzed, uh, you know, the, the comments and, uh, from, from the various different viewers. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'll be addressing these two issues. So this is a fixed video. And the first issue I'll be doing is the update showbox issue which people are having. When they update their showbox, uh, showbox fails to run. Okay, so we're at the desktop here. This is how everybody's um, you know desktop should be. Your icons which were default installed uh, with showbox, uh, Bluestacks are up here. We have apps up here and start Bluestacks here. What we're going to do is we're going to click on start Bluestacks to load this up and it's just loading up here. And I've already got Showbox installed right here. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you the issue um, with updating your Showbox where it isn't running. So we're going to click on Showbox once and it says here um, as per my instructional video, the first video, available new version, please update your programs from our server. So we're going to click on update and we're going to let the update start on here. We're going to click on install down here and it says up installed and we're going to click on done down here. So that's done. So Showbox is now updated to the latest version. But many people are having this problem. Now when they click on Showbox after updating it, you get a, a black screen and then you get returned back to the menu system. So I'm just going to click it again and nothing and then back to the menu system. So how do we resolve this? Um, when there is a way to actually run the latest version of Showbox and for it not to crash like this, what you need to do is once you have, you have updated Showbox, you need to click on Bluestack settings which is here and, and it's like a, a gear icon here. You click on that and you have several options here. You ignore all the options and you go right down to the bottom where it says advanced settings which is another gear icon so you click on that and it gives you uh, it brings up this menu screen. Now this menu screen has device, personal, accounts and system. Under device there are two options which says storage and apps. What you need to click on is the apps icon and then it brings up this menu here. Now from this menu you need to click on Showbox which will be showing up here. So click on Showbox and it will open up this screen here. Now it says Showbox version 3.7 which is the latest version. However it's not running, it's crashing. And we got a several options on this screen. We have full stop, we have uninstall, we have move to SD card, clear data, clear cache, clear defaults, and we got a, a, a few, a little bit of information down here. What you need to click on is you need to click on clear data. Now you need to click on clear data button once and it'll give you this uh, prompt which says delete app data question mark. All this app's data will be deleted permanently. This includes all files, settings, accounts, databases, etc. Don't worry, click on OK. And to make sure that you've done this correctly, the clear data button will be grayed out so you can't click it again. So once you've done that, I want you to click on the home button at the bottom left corner. It looks like a little house. Click on the home button to go back into the home screen. Then I want you to click on all apps, the plus icon here. And then I want you to click on show box. Once you click on show box, it says downloading data 
and voila, you've got it working again with the latest version. So this is what 90% of the people are facing. Once they update the showbox via my instructional video, they can't get it to work, but if you follow this troubleshooting steps, you will be able to get Showbox working with the latest version. Right, now this is the second part of the troubleshooting with other people are experiencing. When they click on Showbox, uh, it loads up, but they don't get any of these icons here. They don't get any of the Ninja Turtles, Dracula and stuff like that. All they get is just a blank screen here. It's just a black screen. Or when they're playing the videos, they don't get any sort of uh, video output. They can't see the movie or they can't see the show and they get a blank screen. What you need to do is you need to update your graphics drivers. So the second part of this um, fix video is uh, in regards to graphics drivers. Now, every computer has a graphics adapter or a graphics driver or some sort of graphics device in it. Now, there are two types of graphic devices. There's ARM board graphics, which can either be fixed onto the motherboard or be fixed on uh, into the central processing units, especially with the new CPUs. Or uh, you can have dedicated graphics. Now, dedicated graphics is a graphics card which is fixed into the motherboard or fixed into your uh, into your computer. Now, um, of those two options, let's talk about dedicated graphics cards first. So, how do you know what type of graphic card you have? Well, the easiest way of telling what type of graphics card you have is to pop open the side panel of your personal computer or to um, open up the bottom panel on your on your laptop. That is the easiest way and to have a look at inside your computer. If you've got a dedicated graphics card, it will be a graphics card um, attached to one of your PCI slots or uh, AGP slots if you have a very old motherboard. It will be fixed into uh, a slot and it will be either, if you've got a dedicated graphics card, it will either be by a company called AMD or will be by a company called NVIDIA. Uh, and you basically find out what graphic card you have then. But I do appreciate that many people are hesitant in opening the sides of their computer cases or opening their laptops to have a look at what graphics card they have. And sometimes they might not see a dedicated graphics card in there. It might actually be um, a graphics card um, built into the motherboard or a graphics card built into the CPU. So, how do you find out what graphics card you have? Well, the way to find out what graphics card you have is to click on Start Menu. Now, this is Windows 7 is what I'm using. Um, so, we go into Start, um, and in the Search and Program files, uh, we want to type in um, D for Delta, X for X-Ray, D for Delta, I for India, A for Alpha, and G for Golf. So DX Diag and it'll come up with this little icon up here saying DX DIAG and this is your DirectX software what I want you to do is click on it once once you click on it you'll get some information here now this information basically uh, what this software DirectX diagnostic tool does is searches your computer and finds out what type of hardware you have in your computer now if you look at the first screen that loads up here, you can see it's on the system tab and it's showing me uh, lots of information here. It's showing uh, current date and time, computer name, operating system, um, languages, system manufacturer, uh, system model, BIOS, uh, processor, memory, page file and DirectX version. Now to find out what processor I have, uh, you just look at a processor here. I have an Intel uh, processor. You might have an AMD processor, but I have an Intel and I have a Core i5 processor. Now, processors, especially the newer processors, come in three series. They come in i3, they come in i5, and they come in i7. You might even have a Pentium series or even a Celeron series mother, uh, CPU if it's an Intel base. If you have an AMD, it actually would say here AMD rather than Intel. Um, so that's how you find out what processor you have. I will get on to why you need to know what your processor is later for the people who don't have dedicated graphics cards installed in their system. What you can click on to find out if you have a dedicated graphics card or you have an onboard one is to click on display. Now when I click on display tab, 
it comes up with what my display adapter is. Now in my case I have an NVIDIA graphics adapter, a dedicated card and it's the GeForce series uh, GTX 970. Now you might have a dedicated graphics card, it might be the 580 or it might be the 780 Ti, it might be the 780 uh, so it'll have your dedicated graphics card name listed here. If it's an AMD card, it'll say AMD here and your AMD graphics card number here, like AMD um, 6970, for example. Um, so this is how you find out. Sometimes on here, it'll say Intel HD graphics. Now I'll come on to that. Intel HD graphics is basically... Um, if you have a laptop or a PC which has an i3, an i5 or an i7 CPU in it, you most likely, if you don't have a dedicated graphics card, you will most likely have a graphic adapter built into your CPU. Now this graphic adapter built into your CPU is normally an Intel HD graphics adapter. So um, how do you find out whether you have a graphics driver installed. Well there is a way to tell whether you have a graphics driver installed. There's two ways where you can tell. First way is when you're at the desktop, your desktop won't look like mine does. Um, all the text will be blown up and you'll have less room on your desktop. The icons will be large, the windows will be large, the text across your desktop will be large. That is a clear indication you don't have a graphics adapter or a graphics driver installed. The second indication how you can check whether you got a driver for your graphics output installed is to click on start and in the bottom search program file, programs and files you need to type in device manager. Device device manager and it should appear as device manager here. You click on that once and it'll come up with this screen. Let's make it large. It'll come up with this screen. Now as you can see on mine, I have all of my drivers installed. But if you have a driver missing on your PC, whether that be a driver for your USB ports, whether that be a driver for your graphics card, what would be here is basically you'll have one of these options open like that. You'll have it open and you'll have something written in here which says something in the region of unknown device and they'll have a question mark or an apostrophe in here in, in a triangle. That means that your computer has identified one component that is inside it, whether it be your graphics card or whether it be anything else inside your computer which doesn't have a driver for it. So your computer doesn't know what it is. Another way of checking whether you have um, uh, got any sort of drivers installed or whether you don't. If you look into the display tab and you click on display tab on my display adapter tab uh, it says here NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 so my computer knows that I, ha I have a dedicated graphics card installed in there and that graphics card is a GTX 970. Now people who don't have any drivers whether they have a dedicated graphics card or they have a graphics card built into their CPU, what it'll have written here, it'll have standard VGA adapter or standard VGA drivers. It'll say something in the lines of that. That basically means that Windows doesn't have a graphics adapter installed and it's just running this standard VGA driver which will make your screen huge and all the texts will be huge and all the windows you'll have less space on your desktop. Now if you have a laptop and on a laptop there isn't a sticker stating that you have anything to do with AMD or Nvidia on there, most likely if you have an i-series CPU you have a graphics card built into the CPU. Now to download drivers you go onto the internet to download NVIDIA drivers, you go on to the NVIDIA website, which is this here. Type in NVIDIA into Google, and it's nvidia.co.uk for me. Um, and this is the NVIDIA website. You then download your graphics card drivers from here, which under the drivers tab, all NVIDIA drivers, and find your graphics card on there, and download the relevant driver. If you have an AMD card, 
you type in AMD in Google and it's amd.com here www.amd.com and you uh, go drivers and support and you download drivers via download center uh, if you have on board graphic card if you have an i3 or an i5 or an i7 CPU you most likely got Intel HD graphics built into your CPUs that is if you don't have a dedicated graphics card in that case you need to go onto the Intel website and you need to download the Intel uh, HD graphics drivers type that in Google and you go into the Intel HD graphics driver center and you download your relevant um, drivers for your relevant Intel HD cards. Once you have updated your drivers and you're running the latest drivers for your graphics uh, cards or your onboard graphics cards, um, hopefully you won't face the issue with a black screen in Showbox and hopefully Showbox will run. If you're having any other issues apart from the two fixes I've listed, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will address your issues on an individual basis. Now if I don't get back to you, I do apologize. If I have many replies, I can't get back to everybody on an individual basis. But hopefully, generally 99% of the people are having these two problems with their showbox not working. Hopefully this has helped you into getting Showbox working on a Windows PC. Please like, comment and subscribe to my videos. Um, I will be getting um, more videos hopefully posted soon and my videos should hopefully be, be coming on a regular basis now that I've got a, a decent uh, recording software. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching my videos and have a good day. Thank you.